guys, welcome back to White Bluey Soaps. Today we are making Mermaid Cove Foaming Bath Butter. And back there you see some mermaid tails that are going to be going on top. This is going to be scented in Brambleberry's Juicy Couture type. We're using three different colors uh, and plus white, which will just be the base uncolored. Uh, Tahitian Teal from Mad Oils and Neon Blue Pigment and some Mocha Brown. Now the Mocha Brown is going to be used in a very, very small amount as we're trying to achieve a sand-like color. And then of course we have our foaming bath butter. In here we have our kaolin clay and jojoba oil. And of course we have my big piping bag here with a Wilton 2D on it. And I do have my coupler in. This will create a ruffled effect. Let's go! I'm going to pull my scale in. We're going to measure out 500 grams of the foaming bath butter base and I will be right back. We have our 500 grams of base in here. We're going to give this a little mix. And I've said this in previous videos, I do like to cut out some of the mixing because it does take a long time and it's pretty noisy, especially with the glass and metal. So I will get this mixed and I will see you in a second. Now that it's loose, I'm going to try to double the size. And you can over mix this base. I never have, um, but it is possible. You can see now that it has uh, just about doubled in size. It's definitely a lot fluffier. <laughs> so I'm not sure if you can tell I got some new filming lights oh my goodness I was so excited my mom aka sexy in my world I've called her that since I was a little girl she brings this huge box in with this humongous lighting setup I'll insert a picture here um, I was I was speechless <laughs> That's kind of like I am now. Um, let's get the additives mixed up in here and I'll keep chatting. I uh, have jojoba oil and kaolin clay in here. I was a giddy little kid for sure setting it up. If you could see me, I'm kind of enclosed in these lights. It's kind of great. <laughs> I'm going to mix up these additives here. <laughs> some fragrance to this. In this amount of mix, I'm going to use 15 mils of fragrance. So there's two. Okay, so there is my 15 mils of fragrance. I'm folding this in at first, just because I don't want the oils to kind of go flicking out everywhere. Quick little mix around just to make sure that's in fully incorporated and then I'm done mixing this with the beaters. So what I'll do is I'm going to hit this real quick with the beaters, clean them off, and we'll come back for color. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to put a little bit in each one of these bowls and we will mix up some color. This will be beautiful is what it's going to be. Oh, you guys, you guys. I mean, can we just talk about how beautiful this color is? Just magnificent. So we're just going to do a little smidge in here. We'll start there. I'll push down to the center, sort of be real easy about floofing green powder all over myself. This will be muted because it is a white base. So we may have to add some more. Probably added about a a full teaspoon now. Just wanted to darken that up just a little bit. Sort of that minty, had a little mint going on there and we wanted it a little more teal. Now this is a pigment. This is neon pigment. <clears throat> Excuse me. And again, just folding this in real slow. And if you've never used a foaming bath butter, uh, in the shower or the bathtub, you are in for a treat. This product, as you can see, is a very moussey, whipped consistency, and you use a spatula, which I provide with your purchase, and you use that to dispense a little bit of the product out, and you can put it on a washcloth, you can put it on 
a scrubby, you can use your hand, um, and you just you know apply it to wet skin, and you use it like you would any other soap. It's almost like, like taking a frosting, <laughs> like a cake frosting, <laughs> and using it to cleanse with. It is amazing! And everyone that I have use it is in love. They absolutely cannot get enough. And neither can I. If you would like to get your hands on this product, I do have an Etsy store. And that is on the screen for you here. And it's also listed in the description box below. There's a link down there. We changed our minds, friends. We're just going to mix it all together. It's all right. We don't need any white. And here I am trying to make yellow sand when, in fact, it's not yellow. As you can see, I'm just going to scoop this into the jars. And I should have used a piping bag for this. I believe it would have helped with the cleanup after. And here I'm just taking a spoon and messing it up. I don't want it to be uniform. I don't want it to be a straight line. It's supposed to be sand after all. I'll just take my finger. And there you go, friends. All of our brown is in. Sides are cleaned up. And now for the press and seal. Just put a little bit on each spot here. Do the same thing with the other color. I don't want it to be perfect. I don't want it to be uniform. The magic, <laughs> as I like to call it. Put the two sides together and just pinch and tighten. This tip will give us nice ribbons. Slid my little log down in my piping bag. I'm going to grab around the top where it's twisted. Around the top where it's twisted, I'm going to grab it right there and pinch it. And of course, tighten the bag, the rest of the bag around it as well. And I know that's where I'm going to twist it. So I'm going to twist my bag. And now we're ready to go. Just moving it back and forth just to make it look like waves. That one's way better than the other one. That one looks so cool. Move the piping bag. Kind of wiggle it back and forth. And now I'm going to nestle one of these just right down in the top. Uh, let's do this beauty. And I'm just turning these around, spinning them to sort of put them in at the right spot. One more little puff of glitter. There! This is biodegradable glitter, so don't come for me in the comments, friends. These little beauties are so pretty! Oh my goodness, I just love it! I'm gonna go for now. I want to thank you all for watching, and if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe, and of course, hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime that we upload a video. And until next time, bye!